all pro tight end for the Niners, George Kittle. Good morning, George. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, guys. How are we doing today? What up, Georgie? What up, G? All right, George, uh, you guys were up 41-17 to 17 on the Lions before Detroit made a comeback late in the game to make it closer than it ought to have been. What would you take away from the week one performance? Um, you know, I'm definitely happy with the way the team uh, came out and attacked. Uh, I thought we, uh, you know, we stumbled a little bit, you know, fumbled in the first place tough, but we bounced back. No one got scared. You know, no one, uh, no one got tight, and we just kind of played football after that, ran the ball at a high level. Uh, you know, Jimmy passed the ball at a high level, and we just started playing our game. And end of the game, it definitely took our foot off the gas, and uh, that's what happened in the NFL. There's not really any bad teams. Everybody in the NFL can play football. That's why they're there. And, um Made it very interesting and definitely uh, taught us a lesson. George, I know you know you wasn't surprised with the quarterback rotation because it obviously in training camp, game plan week, all the different things you had a chance to kind of see it, but you didn't see it until live action in the game against Detroit. What did you make of the rotation between the two quarterbacks? Uh, it's just something different. Uh, you know, I'm a big fan of both Jimmy and Trey, and they both bring a lot of things to the table. So. Um, I think Jimmy was rolling and Trey came in and uh, I think his defenses have to do a lot of different things when you do that transition because they're all both very different quarterbacks. So uh, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, I, I had fun out there and uh, I mean, I, I don't know what Trey got like three or four plays, but uh, uh, it was, it was different. And uh, you know, I'm just going to react to whatever coach Shanahan puts out there. Captain Falcon. Why'd you have to stiff arm Tracy Walker to third like that, man? Why'd you have to do it like that, George? <laughs> I got to get my yak, man. <laughs> Man, it was all about the yeah. Hey, I, so with having a guy like Trey Lance <laughs> progress from the preseason until now, what what have you seen a, about his progression overall that makes you think that he could be a quarterback, a great quarterback in the future? Oh, I mean, just his uh, his commitment to getting better every single day. I mean, he doesn't make the same mistakes twice. Um, you know, he's definitely a rookie, and you know, you see some of those things. But um, he progresses, and uh, that's that's what you want to see. You just want to see guys taking steps in the right direction because uh, that leads to great results. And uh, Trey's definitely been doing that since OTAs. He's taking a lot of steps, and he's definitely got plenty left to learn. But he's got uh, all the intangibles to be a very good player in the NFL. George, you guys look. You have a great quarterback situation. You got an underrated quarterback who's been to a Super Bowl, came one pass away from winning it. You got a guy with great upside um, learning. But when you look around the NFC West, Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, Matt Stafford, they all look like MVPs week one, and they can all perform at a very high level. What is your thought about playing in what looks like to me and many the toughest division in football? I mean, I've been saying that for a minute there, Max. Uh, NFC West, man, we got a lot of people out there, you know, from, you know, Cardinals got Kyler Murray, they got DeAndre Hopkins, they got Chandler Jones, Buda Baker, Rams have Aaron Donald. I mean, that's that's pretty good in, 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 by itself. Um, and the Seahawks are always just bringing it with Russell Wilson. So, I mean, like, you got guys, you know, everywhere. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, they got to go against our defense and Nick Bosa and Eric Armstead and Fred Warner. And, uh, you know, we, we have a lot of guys in there that can make a lot of plays, and I think our offense is going to continue to keep rolling. And um, the one thing that we do better than I think anyone else in our division is run the damn ball, and that's what we're going to continue to do and, uh, you know, be violent and be physical every single week. Hey, George, so the six-round pick, uh, Elijah Mitchell, stepped up, much like most of did a couple years ago. Uh, Elijah had 104 yards and a tug uh, after the injury. What did you make of his rookie performance? Because you've been a rookie once before, and you know how tough it is for rookies to get acclimated to the speed of the game. I mean, very impressed. It is, it is the speed is way different, and especially as a running back in, in our offense, when you're just told to run in a straight line as fast as you possibly can, and just trust that there's going to be a hole there. I mean, that that's, that definitely takes a lot of uh, a lot of courage, I think. And I think Elijah stepped in. He did a great job. He ran hard. There's a lot of runs that you'll see on tape that should have been like two yard runs and ended up being like uh, eight to 12 yard runs. And, you know, when you have a running back that can take a short run and fall forward for four or five yards, you're doing something right. And so uh, we're just continuing to try to block and uh, open up big holes for him and whoever else is toting the ball. The tight end university. I mean, what's that been like? Tight end you? I mean, it was fantastic experience. You, know, you get 50 uh, NFL tight ends on under the same roof, learning, watching film together. Um, hearing why guys do the things that they do, like why does Travis Kelsey run his route this certain way, and why does Greg Olson, how did he get open on all those 10-yard out routes his entire career? 
uh, just listen to guys break down the tape and uh, you know, break down their thinking process. Definitely uh, shed a lot of light on you know because you'll be sitting there watching film on Travis Kelsey or Greg Olson or Darren Waller or me in the run game, and you're just like, huh, why did he do that? And then being able to hear an explanation about it uh, was awesome. And just uh, now you have an idea of what they're thinking when they're out there playing ball. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.